everybody and welcome back to another episode of Reacting to Tom Jake, the Disventure Camp spin-off show. This is episode 3. My name is Silly Billy, but you can call me Billy. I have a wonderful little spinning animation in front of me, which is going to show you exactly when I am going to cut things and it's not going to be annoying at all. Oh boy. Last episode we were in a big, big, big rush because I was really late and this time I am not late at all. I just have one more hour. <laughs> Work has been busy. Work has been very busy. But yesterday officially started my vacation, so I'm off for a week now, which is super great. However, I can already tell you on a, in advance, like, next episode, I'm not gonna make it. That's just no way. There's no way I'm going to make it. I am going on vacation on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be away until Sunday. Uh, which is usually the recording schedule I have for these episodes. So no, there is no way I am going to make it for the next episode. Uh, it will come just later. <laughs> You'll just have to be patient a little while. All right, you want to dive into this? Let's see if Tom, uh, uh, he got like a phone call. No, Jake got a phone call about Tom. No, Lucia came to talk about Tom without the phone call. I get it now. Things are difficult to remember sometimes. Anyway, let's see if Tom died or not. I doubt it. He probably stubbed his toe. Sure, you don't want us to spend the night? It's late, and Miriam's here. Tom will be okay. <sighs> what happened? If you change your mind. Thanks. Like, did he did he stub his toe hard? <laughs> Bastard. I Gabby and Tom are so evil with the way they are pushing Ellie and Jake to become friends. Like, just, just. I know you guys don't like each other. But we don't care, so become friends. There's <laughs> something really toxic Ooh. about that. Ugh, Johnson. Guy Tom was on patrol with last night. He's from another station. Wish I could whack him with a baton. See how he likes it. Oh, Tom's what? soul is too gentle. If he didn't intervene, he wouldn't have fallen into the crossfire. Oh boy. But he said what happened? Was really rough with the dude they pulled over. I know, I'm with Tom 100%. But breaking that up was like trying to break up a dogfight. I don't care. I'm proud of him. I should get going too. It's late. I want to start an investigation first thing in the morning. Oh Thanks, boy. Lucia. So he, he jumped in between people fighting and then got attacked himself? I'm sorry, Jake. The good ones always seem to get hurt. Where is Tom? Passing up an old lady's Coco. I should feel offended. I can't believe Tom got hurt again. He's a fighter. You will both get through this. I saw, by the way, <laughs> I want to quickly talk about this. I saw this, uh, this, this post on Reddit, which said that Miriam's death was leaked. <laughs> if Miriam dies this episode, that's gonna be the funniest shit ever. <laughs> like, if they actually go there, if they actually make it so that Miriam dies, I would hate that. But because I would hate that so much, I could do nothing else but laugh at the moment itself. But I feel like it will be a lie. I feel like they're not gonna do that. But I think it's really funny that somebody edited the wiki just to include Miriam's death as a possibility. <laughs> it said, like, in her age description, it said, like, uh, lived from this and this and became so many years old until she died and <laughs> changed things to was instead of is, you know? That's funny. That's just funny. This it's, is what Unless he actually dies here. That's gonna be... Yikes. I know, honey. But I haven't seen too many people talk about it yet, so I don't think it will happen. Hello, kitty. Are you calling Tom? He's not good at responding. Dad. What do you want, Jake? Do you need money? No, oh, not yikes. even close. I wanted to tell you that my partner Tom got injured on the job last night. So you're still seeing him. And it would mean a lot if you could come visit and... No. Okay. N no? No. We can't support you if this is a lifestyle you chose. If you come to your senses, we are ready to see you back home. <laughs> Jake, why would you want to contact this guy? He sounds like an asshole. You're despicable. What yeah. did you say, Jacob? You and Mom are the most despicable humans I've ever met. Hey, Let's go. Listen. No, you listen. You fucking listen to me for once. I finally have good people in my life. 
people who embrace me for who I am, and you two could even do that as my parents? Oh, so we're the bad guys for wanting the best for you. Now, if this is what you want, so be it. We tried. Don't give me that. You never tried to understand me. What kind of father are you? I'm done waiting for you to change. I promise I'm going to be a thousand times the man you ever were. Goodbye, Dad. Jake? S sounds like an e- No, don't throw your phone. <laughs> but that sounds like a pretty easy task considering your father is literal garbage. <laughs> okay, well, good for you, Jake. Now you should sleep sound. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, it's back. I just wait, wanted to watch the intro for that. Ah, uh, they did it again. I knew they just forgot it and they didn't do it just to please me. Ah, boy. Ah, shucks. Eagle. You better forget Time the for buzzing again. Oh, it's a tiny Tom. Oh, no, it's tiny Jake, I guess. What does this word mean? Infiltration. Infiltration? <laughs> Almost. Infiltration. Oh, is this tiny Tom? To something. But isn't that wrong? It depends. Sometimes it's okay. Wait, is this, uh, is this Alex voice actor again? That would be funny. It the rules. Huh. How's your ouchie, by the way? Much better. That's- Oh, that's Tom. It's Tom. It's just Chase. Oh, God, it's Officer uh, Cheeks. Thomas, go wash up. Stay in the bathroom until I tell you to come out. Oh, uh, okay. I won't let you lay another hand on him. Get out! Mom? Oh, hi. So I'm not crazy, right? That was Officer Cheekbones, the second one from the, the Marcus episode. Jeez. M Mom. <laughs> I wonder why they're here. <laughs> Tom like all of it. Powdered. Double glazed with blueberry jam. Don't sound so sure. <laughs> Any word on the case? It's going now. Hopefully some justice can come out of it. Seems straightforward at least. <laughs> Hardly. Some of the officers from Johnson Station threatened my position. Might bite me in the ass in the long run. You took the risk? I did it for Tommy. Uh, uh, Reed. Thank you. You're Tommy. an amazing friend. <laughs> Ugh, don't get mushy on me, Bluey. Ugh. Is, did she just... Wait, did she just call him Bluey? Is that because of his hair? I wondered about this. Because I remember... <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little cracky. I remember writing one of the uh, greeting scripts for Jake. Uh, and then I thought that Jake's hair was colored. But then I was told it wasn't. So does Jake just have naturally blue hair? That's weird, right? I believe there was only one character of which the hair was dyed. I don't remember who it was, but it was someone I thought of like, oh, uh, that could have been a natural color. Uh, but not Jake. He has blue hair. How? Sorry, y'all. Or what, sweetheart? Making you all worry. It's... It's okay. We knew you'd pull through. <laughs> You'll be back to busting baddies in no time. You want to do anything tonight? We could hang with Gabby and Ellie, uh, go to the movies? No, I'm kind of tired. Okay, no worries, love. I'm really proud of you. For what? For standing up to Johnson. Who knows what could have happened if... That guy wouldn't have gotten hurt at all if I had stopped him in time. But you intervened and de-escalated. It made a difference. Good. I'm gonna go check on dinner. Hey, it's almost done. <laughs> the, the knife. Put it away. What? Tom, it's just a... Okay. Oh my god, so I was traumatized. Whoa. Uh, 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 what did this Officer Johnson have on him that, that Tom is traumatized by now? Was he attacking somebody with a knife? Was Officer Johnson shanking a victim?
That is insane. Going to bed. I can imagine why he's traumatized, but the fact that he's traumatized by a knife. I thought he was getting better. I'm not talking about his injuries. I think something happened and he's mentally not well. Maybe he needs help. Jake, do you think it could be something related to his father's issues? I did consider that, but that would just be a guess. He only talked to me about it twice. What are you two talking about? When we were at the motel, during All the Stars, Tom opened up about his home life. It wasn't good. A lovely mother, but father was less than ideal. Why is he thinking of it now? After witnessing <laughs> Why is Gabby... <laughs> wait, wait, Gabby is, is collapsing like a little pudding. Look at now. this. Look, 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 wee! <laughs> <laughs> at work and getting injured. He hasn't been the same. I might know what can help him. Where is your head at? Ice cream always helps. Good call. Uh, a little better still. See, it's the ice cream. <laughs> Jake, I'm just really scared. What if something were to happen and I couldn't protect you? Don't talk like that. The most safe I feel is with you. Sorry, my dad is just always spinning. I have a feeling like these guys are wor uh, walking really quick. Major ass. Look at how, how fast they're hobbling. You'd fold any goon in a heartbeat. <laughs> Damn straight. Uh, home sweet home. What is it? Oh, hi, Mom. Tom, my brave little guy. Oh, boy. Mom? Ah. Uh. Miriam and I got a hold of her. We thought you'd like to see her. You thought right, Mom. It's been forever. Is Tony here, too? He's studying abroad, but he sends his wishes. How are you? Kind of going through it right now. I know, sweetie, and I'm so sorry. I came as soon as I could. Oh, shit, but what about the agent- Talent agency! Uh, yep. Those fickle actors will just have to wait. Uh, what? Miriam? Jake? Thank you for taking care of my Tommy. Of course, dear. Here, we'll leave you two alone to catch up. There's so much happening here. Oh my God. <laughs> I have so many questions. In person. Oh, I know, right? How are you, Jake? I'm just glad that Tom's doing better. Tom's mom is wholesome. How are you? I'm not the one who got hurt. Your feelings still matter. I guess. I can't stop thinking about my family. Seeing Tom and his mom, it makes me feel bad. Does that make me an awful person? Not for a second, honey. I'm never gonna have that, am I? I'm never gonna have that, am I? What, dear? A normal life? No such uh -huh. thing. You would say that. Thomas, I'm sorry we were on the move so much. I'm sorry we always had to be so secretive. I know it's the reason you have trouble opening up. <sighs> I never wanted this life for you or Tony. Your father was a disgusting coward. You, you did the best you could. Sure, he's gone now, but that pain doesn't go away. I know it's hard to let go. You have such a bright future. <laughs> I wish I was as strong as you. Is this what's hanging you up? I never wanted to be a spy. Or a cop, really. I I just wanted to do something that could help people. And Okay, okay, I'm gonna react to a couple of things that just happened. Because I feel like I've been silent for a solid minute now, and that's not <laughs> what a reaction thing means. Uh, holy crap, what is happening? There is so many... Plot points opening up here. So apparently Tom has a uh, family and I think an abusive father is where they're going at, right? I mean, is there really a lot for me to react to besides, oh, that's cute. They have a, they have a solid, not, not the abusing part. Oh my God, don't take that out of context. No, I mean, the mother is cute. The mother is really sweet to Tom and, and caring and such. And yeah, I, I just, I just kind of want to see where this leads to because this episode is really dark. So, so heavy again. Oh boy. Why is that? I guess I always thought if I took the heat for things, the people I cared about would be safe. 
protected, like what uh, you did for me and Tony. Family protects family. It goes both ways. And that guy out there, whew, he rivals me in how protective he is over you. <laughs> He's pretty yeah. great. He's a dreamboat. Good pick. Mom! <laughs> Relax. A dreamboat. Let's go for a walk. See that ledge? Oh, that's where I messed up my elbow. Practically yeah. gave me a heart attack. You remember how you got it? Dude, Tom is so clumsy. Old dropper doll. Bingo! You sprang into action without a second thought. Pretty dumb. Over a doll? You never realize how big of a ripple effect you have. Heroism isn't about results. Heroes lead by example. They jump to help someone without thinking twice. Yeah, you're probably right. Of course I'm right. I'm your mother. <laughs> and you'll always be my hero. Thanks, Mom. Aw, Mom left you a note. Yeah, it was really sweet. She mentioned that she was my honorary new mom. Then she gushed about me for three more pages. Damn, only three? Must have been the blocked version. I think the word is bridged. <laughs> that too. Had to dip that quick, huh? Uh, yup. You know, the biz. Right. But she said she'd try to pop in for Miriam's birthday. Aw, great. I can't wait to see everyone. Our big, happy family. <laughs> I called my dad, by the way. Wait, what? The way you aren't afraid to jump in and help in any situation made me realize I don't have to rely on others. I can yeah. handle my own shit, too. And? Shit was handled. I told him off. I don't plan on speaking to him again. That took a lot of bravery. Proud of you, Jake. Have you decided if you're going back to work? I'm not sure yet. Looking into a new career? I need to live my life how I want, not how I think it needs to be. Now, I think it's time I be a different kind of hero. Well, yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, he's a donut hero! Why are we stopping for coffee? Uh, you know, I need my fix. <laughs> You're hiding something. I can tell, Tom. Just come in! Oh boy. Sean? Oh, hey. Hello. Jake. Huh. Hi, Ritex. <laughs> this episode, it was something. I, I don't know how to feel about this episode. I, there's a lot of good and happy things happening with a lot of uh, dark and heavy subjectory and and people are getting good exits, but I, I, I really ha didn't have a lot to react to in this episode. Is that weird? Is that weird? I felt like just watching the episode, there was so much happening at once. Like Tom um, rekindling with his mother, uh, Tom getting in a heavy injury, Jake and Tom uh, being there for each other and, and uh, supporting each other, uh, Tom being traumatized by, by weaponry and cutlery and such. Jake uh, facing up to his dad. Uh, Jake and Tom meeting up with uh, Sean. Uh, the intervention for Tom with his mother, or I guess just meeting with his mother. That was, it was action to action and not a lot of breathing room, so to say. It's weird. It's a weird feeling I have. Overall, I think this episode is just really awesome. And there's a lot of valuable lessons to be learned here. Uh, and I think a lot of people will be able to relate to this episode a lot. I can't really say that I can relate to this, uh, and I think I am blessed in that sense, because I have a, a, a solid relationship with my parents, I have a solid relationship with my girlfriend, which is good, which is, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Why I'm saying this is because that makes this episode hit a little less hard. I think if you can relate to this episode, if people... Uh, are watching this who recognize themselves in either Tom or Jake in this episode. This episode is gonna hit hard. But for me, it doesn't really. And that's not the fault of this episode. It's just the fact that I don't have these struggles. And that's fine. But I'm also happy for the people that do have that this show opens a doorway to showcase like, we hear you, we see you, and your struggles are real. And I think that was the purpose of this episode. And Tom and Jake are just the 
the vessels through which that story, that, that message is told, which is nice. I think for now we're going to leave this here though. I'm curious to see how this show wraps up. Because so far I don't really feel like there is an connecting story in any of these. It's just one episode happens, a lesson is learned, and then we move on to the next with a little cliffhanger. Like, for example, next episode I think will be fully about Jake and Tom. No, uh, not Jake and Tom, about Jake and Sean. And uh, we're going to basically kind of ignore uh, what happened in this episode. Same like we ignored the Gabby and Ellie stuff uh, from last episode in this one. Uh, and then I, I think that's just gonna, I, I think it's just a slice of life story between Tom and Jake, which is nice. For now though, I want to thank the silliest subscribers to the Silly channel. Thank you, Star Wars Timpen, Vanessa Venger, Noah Adores Gabby, Creeper XOX, and the name is Tubby, as well as all the other members to the Silly channel for their continuous support on the channel. It helps out a great deal. If you would like to become a member yourself, check out the little button down below next to my name. You can become a member from as low as two bucks a month, which will give you early access to all the videos I make, shoutouts, emotes, badges, and the whole shebang. So if that is something that would interest you, please consider checking it out down below. For now though, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Silly Billy, and remember, Miriam is in fact not dead. Howdy!